Hi, I'm Steve, and with me is my good friend John. Hey, what's up? And welcome to another episode of Steve Tries. You know, there could be a time when you're wandering around your own hometown, and you say, you know what? I'm really thirsty. I could use something to drink. But you don't want to waste $2.50 on a tiny little ball of soda about this big. But wait! To the rescue comes your friendly local dollar store. They have a lot of stuff in there, some of which you may never have seen or even heard of before. You don't want to waste money, even if it is only a dollar. Well, that's where I come in. I've made it my mission to go around and find and try all the weird, odd, crazy sodas and drinks. Try them out for the very first time right here on camera for your entertainment. Today we have a selection of uh, drinks for you. Alright, first off we have a Cafe Time Coffee Espresso. Uh, we have apple beer, which is completely non-alcoholic. Uh, we have Sobe Power Fruit Punch. Power Fruit. And last but not least, there's this Asian thing that just says Bickle. That, that's the only thing I can read. It's spelled B-I-K-K-L-E. Bickle. So, uh, we'll also have that. And with us, of course, is our handy dandy dry salting crackers. Mmm, I love me some punishment. Alright, so let's get this show on the road. You know what, John? That's really dry. But never fear. Espresso is here. Alright. Let's find out a little bit about this, huh? What's the blurb say? Well, it's made in Taiwan. Um, ingredients. Water, coffee, sugar, and milk powder. Yum. Shake well before serving and keep refrigerated. Okay. Okay. No blurbs? Uh, no, not really. It just says ready to drink. Amount per serving is one can, so... There we go, now it's all shaken up. Alright, here we go. There you go. Alright, looks like coffee. Smells like coffee. Smells like espresso. Mm-hmm. Well, it even tastes like espresso, my friend. Tastes like espresso, but cold. Yep. Well, there's nothing wrong with uh, cold stuff when it's supposed to be cold. Espresso's supposed to be hot. But whatever. Oh, let me see. Well, it says, keep refrigerated for cold serving. Pour product into container to heat for hot coffee. <laughs> Best before date printed on bottom of can. May 25th, 2013. If we're, we're good. We're good. <sighs> Not too bad. Yes, so. All right, let's go ahead. Side. All right. We've got our notebook here. What should we do first? Comments, news, or uh, subscribers? Let's get the shout outs out of the way. All right, shout outs. To, to the comments. I mean, to the new subscribers. New subscribers. Uh, we have two new subscribers this time. Um, we have Bumblebee Zero Full, or Bumblebee O Full. Pretty cool name. And then the next one, I am not even making this up. Okay, let's see. Have you, have you seen it? No. Okay. Sopping Wet Pussy Head Four. <laughs> Pretty epic name. Sopping Wet Pussy Head 4. I couldn't believe that YouTube allowed a username like that, but the, uh. The mods were asleep when he made that account. I guess so. So, uh, to Bumblebee Full and uh, Sopping Wet Pussy Head 4, uh, thanks for subscribing. It's people like you that make all this crap worthwhile. Mm hmm. Alright. On to the next thing. Okay, 
Mm. Next up, we got apple beer. This was provided to me by uh, my friend Brian, who I know is not watching this video because he never watches my videos. He's told me himself. But let's see what it says. It says, no preservatives made with pure cane sugar. Awesome. Caffeine free, alcohol free. Aw, the soft drink with a head. Apple beer is a 19th century Baravian tradition made in the Rocky Mountains since 1964. So it's a Baravian tradition, but it's made in the good old Rocky Mountains of USA. Of Yeah, 1964. Huh. Baravian, but Rocky Mountains. Now let's see what this else it says. Contains purified carbonated water, pure cane sugar, citric acid, natural flavors, and vitamin C. And bottled under the authority of the Apple Beer Corporation, Salt Lake City, Utah. Wait, wait, wait. So the... It's a... It's a tradition made in the Rocky Mountains since 1964, but the Apple Beer Corporation is in Salt Lake City? Uh, apparently. Okay. Uh, don't, don't ask me. This is, uh, this is America, the melting pot. You can do anything and everything here. All right, so. All right, let's go ahead. Get some of this. Yeah, it's nice and has a nice amber hue to it, like a like a very light beer or a apple cider. Yeah. Nice apple scent to it. Mm hmm. Hmm. Are you prepared? Should be. Hopefully, it's good. Yeah, you're good. Bottoms up, man. a nice apple kind of bite to it, you know, because it has a uh, carbonation. I could do it without. Without what? Without this. You don't like it? Not really. Really? No. I think it's alright. No. It doesn't have a really strong taste. But So you're not a fan of this? No. Okay. Drink it. You're the guy who drank the effervescent bacon. All right, we got. It. And that stuff was nasty too. Indeed, it was. Indeed, it was. Okay, I'll save the rest of that for later. All right. What should we do now? Comments. Comments. All right. Here we go. From Double Eighty, he asked, "Where did you get the magnets?" All right. Well, this is referring to uh, a while back. Yeah, probably uh, those would either be uh, Transformer customizing videos or uh, Warhammer 40K videos, where I say you customize stuff with magnets and things. Anyways, you you get the magnets from different places. Um. Uh, you can get them on eBay. You, you usually get like a large bulk amount for a relatively small amount of money. Um, there's uh, a place I get my magnets from as well. It's called K&J Magnetics. You can get tons and tons of different kinds of magnets, different sizes, different shapes, different uh, different strengths. So some that you need a uh, they have a safety warrant, a uh, safety instruction. That if you put it be your hand and a piece of metal, it will smash your hand. Yeah, they have magnets that are so strong that they have to ship them in a wooden box because, like, the magnets are so powerful that if if you are holding the thing and you pass by a piece of metal, the magnetic uh, force is so strong it'll smash your hand into this metal thing and crush your hand, and uh, you'll basically be stuck there. There'll be no way to get you out. So your hand is pretty much gone. And it also says that this magnet can affect televisions and computer monitors up to six feet away. So uh, keep those super powerful magnets away from computers. But magnets, eBay, K&J Magnetics, cool. and you can also get uh, some uh, er uh, magnets at um, Radio Shack. They're called Rare Earth Magnets. So if you're gonna get magnets for modeling or minis or whatnot, get the Rare Earth Magnets. 
or if your game shop had some. If your game shop has them, um, Primal Horizon is a company that is uh, putting out magnets. You can usually find them in your specialty game shops and stuff. <laughs> Anyways, um, my other comment is from Flux Homes. I, uh, Flux Homes is a good friend from back hey, during Flux. my yeah, it's a good friend back during my military days. So, Flux Homes, <clears throat> this was a comment on uh, our Red Rain video. I've posted <laughs> uh, I've posted part one, and part two should be up uh, pretty soon. Yeah. He says, Red Rain, ick. I'd rather drink battery acid high on shrooms. <laughs> Steve, uh, you have a really cool army of compadres, but Red Rain, I just had a bowel movement in my mouth. That stuff was bad. Ah, uh, well... Uh, it's good to know that you know you're still watching my stuff, Holmes. And uh, yeah, Red Rain was not really all that great, but the derivatives, the offshoots, the Red Rain plus something else, they weren't as bad as the original. But the original was still very, very not good. I'm assuming you've drank the Red Rain. So that's all we have for the comments. So thanks for the comments, guys. If you want your comments read, just go ahead and leave a comment on this video or other videos. And if they're interesting enough, I'll go ahead and write them down and read them on a future video. All right. Punishment. Yum. Anyways, this is the Sobe thing. Again, a uh, 10 for $10 sale of Bonds. This one is Power Fruit Punch. And it says, hey, pucker up. Lip smack banging fruit punch flavor shirt to energize your core to the core. Built tough with guarana and taurine and naturally sweetened with sugar. All right. Oh, the thing it says, my lizard, my choice. I guess it's his, his lizard, his choice. All right. All right, here we go. Smells like fruit punch. Pretty powerful fruit punch. Power punch. All right. Drink it. Taste the garana. All right, I I don't know what garana tastes like, but all right, I'll take your word for it. Oh, punk. I feel the power to my core. All right. Ah. And now, my friend. Bad news. Last but not least, we have some bad news. We had someone die recently. Okay, this guy is important and contributed a lot to the pop culture of America. Okay, who is it? Ralph McQuarrie. Do you know who Ralph McQuarrie is? I, I could Google him, but it doesn't ring a bell, but... Okay, well, Ralph McQuarrie died at the age of 82 on March 3rd, 2012. Mm -hmm. So... McCory worked as a technical artist for Boeing, but was hired by George Lucas as a conceptual artist for Star Wars. Oh. He created the look of Darth Vader, C-3PO, R2-D2, the Stormtroopers, and many other characters. Oh. And Lucas had this to say of him in a statement um, at his death. Ralph McCory was the first person I hired to help me envision Star Wars. When words cannot convey my ideas, I would always point to one of Ralph's fabulous illustrations and say, do it like this. So. Does suck? Yes, it, uh, where our condolences go out to the uh, friends and family of Ralph McCory, your work will be greatly missed. He was diagnosed with Parkinson's years ago, so that unfortunately got in the way of his, uh, his artistic talents and his painting, but, uh, 
I know that the Lucas Corporation decided to begin to immortalize his work by creating a, a line of action figures that were based directly upon his conceptual designs. So, um, thanks for all your contributions, Ralph McQuarrie. Okay. But not least, we have this mystery Asian drink, which again we must uh, thank Julian for going out and picking up for us at the Asian market somewhere in LA. Um, it says Suntory, which I'm guessing is the company, yeah. <clears throat> and then Bickle. It's 400 milligrams, and there's some kind of Zulu warrior with a crown, I guess. Mm -hmm. Dude, dude, check out that. Yes. Uh, okay. Here we go. Oh, let me go around. So. That is crazy. Here's the expiration date. Okay. So, apparently it will expire... Um, December 6th, the year 2026. Yeah. So if you're, you know, if you're stockpiling for like a... A zombie apocalypse or a nuclear winter or you really think the world's gonna end at the end of this year... Uh, Bickle. Yeah, stock up on Bickle. Apparently will last you all those years in your underground shelter. Or what it has in it. <sighs> well, let's see. They put on an English sticker, so... It says, soft drink. Not carbonated. Uh, Bickle Bin. Uh, okay. Ingredients. Sugar, high fructose corn syrup, milk powder, Xylo... Okay, there's a dash. Xylo Oligosaccharide. Science! Hey, how many letters are in that word? Enough to make it a science term. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. There's 19 letters in that one word. And a hyphen. Pectin. Uh... Acidulant, artificial flavor, magnesium chloride, and vitamin C. Okay, and if you're allergic to milk, this contains milk. Alright. Has this weird pop top. Huh. Yep. Epic. Here we go. Here we go. Let's see what this stuff smells like. So it's, uh, Sweet. You know, like it's, uh, kind of like yogurty. It has milk pot in yeah. it. Alright. See how this stuff tastes. That's a hard flavor to describe. Oh, uh, um, huh. I, I can taste the vibe. It got some sort of orangey taste to it. Like, if you've ever had plain yogurts with like no flavoring whatsoever you know if you buy like a big container of plain yogurt or you get that fruit in the bottom stuff and you just get a scoop of the stuff on the top before you mix it up it's kind of like that but it's like in a liquid form with like a slight vanilla flavor i guess that would be the sugar and the high fructose corn syrup but i don't have any clue what the xylo oli Saccharide would taste like. That's not too bad. Yeah, let's finish this off. Pickles, not bad. Okay. Ah, brother. Well, that was an interesting ride. Mm -hmm. How would you rate these, my friend? From best to worst. By much, but so far you would rate the Sobe Power Fruit Punch as the best, mm -hmm. followed by the Apple Beer, mm -hmm. 
then the pickle, and last the espresso. I like the espresso, but it's not too bad. It's not like the, sadly, the basil bit drink uh, where I threw it outside. That that was pretty funny. Yep. Sadly, it the, got... Yep, sadly, that video got lost. But the basil drink was so bad, John had to throw the can outside to rate it on the scale. All right, well, um... If, if I were to rate these, um, this was really good. I like that. Um, just behind it, I would put this. And basically, I would, I would, I would rate them up just pretty much the same way you had. So, uh, all right, very good. You have any final comments, my friend? Yeah, uh, I'll be starting my own sh uh, YouTube series soon. Uh, my my camera just came in, so I have no name for it right now. Uh, um, leave a comment on Steve's comment section on this video. Come up if you guys could come up with a unique name, I'll maybe go with it. All right. Uh, are you gonna describe what it is, or should I? You describe what it is. Okay. Essentially, John's idea is it's going to be something like I accept your challenge, where um, either he would find things in the store that say they have a lifetime guarantee and he would put that guarantee to the test or um, if there is an eating challenge at a nearby restaurant he'll uh, go ahead and try to do that. Too bad that sandwich shop closed. Yeah. Uh, but we got the uh, barbecue place that just opened up in town and John is he's eyeing the prize. He wants that t-shirt. Free t-shirt. Free t-shirt. Alright so that's all we have for you this time. Uh, check back later on for more videos, leave comments and stuff. That's all I have for you. I am signing out.